It was a special weekend for one local family dealing with some adversity right now. Coach Andy Avalos and the Boise State football program helped out in helped the Dodd family in Boise, and they couldn't do it without the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Will Hall has the story from Julia Davis Park. To the alumni, the Brotherhood, and Bronco Nation, we will put all our effort and purpose into the development and growth of our current Broncos. We will reflect on the tenacious and relentless spirit of the blue collar mentality. Ever since he returned to his alma mater as head coach, Andy Avalos has preached brotherhood, and that was on display yet again this weekend. Nine year old Jaleel Dodd loves his Broncos. And now let's We watch all the basketball games, all the football games, and he loves going to the football games. So. And now more than ever, he needs his Broncos. But he always wants to know when the football games are on and who's playing and who we're playing against. The greatest strength of a brotherhood is its collective bond. Brotherhood stands for is, is just, it's family first. A unifying spirit, seen, heard, and felt. He's just f fighting and, and it was just awesome to see a smile on his face. Coach Avalos and the rest of the Bronco Brotherhood coming together this weekend to support Jaleel as he continues his battle against leukemia. So we are here raising money for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Jaleel is our honored child of the year. He's currently battling cancer. In this COVID time, in an effort to keep Jaleel safe, the Brotherhood made sure its impact and presence was seen heard and felt. Hey coach, it's Coach Avalos. What's up buddy, how you doing? Good. Good, I love that hat. I need to find one of those, that's sweet. Thank you. Have a great day, okay yeah, bud? Thank you guys so much. Go Broncos. Go Broncos, Go Broncos. Woo! Thank you coach. It means a lot to us. Um, we're very honored and blessed to uh, have people in the community that you know want to help us uh, in this time and make him feel happy and make him feel comfortable. The Brotherhood lifting his spirits and showing him that his fight doesn't happen alone. Hey! Wanted to give you this, man. Proud of you. And uh, it was just an honor to, to just go out there and, and just go see him and how tough he is. And, you know, I think it just puts in perspective just just to be grateful for what you have. For, for myself, you know, uh, my sister was in the hospital for a long time when I was in, in high school dealing with an autoimmune disease. So, um, you know, just being a family kind of in that, in that deal is, is really, really tough. It's awesome what, what the community's done and, and uh, just the people surrounding them, I know that that's important. <laughs> this uh, today is pretty, pretty dope for him and he's he's super excited about it and so I am. We're looking forward to going to the games this year and, and having fun. He's just as happy as he can be and he feels all the love and joy from everybody here today. Uh, he he deserves it, he's, he's, he's worth it and uh, I just hope that he's happy. A reminder of the greatest strength of a brotherhood, a bond that can be seen, heard, and felt. Definitely brightens his day up a lot. I think you're going to be a star, Jaleel. You're made for this. He deserves it for sure. Jameer says Jaleel is doing great and has about a year to go with his chemo treatments. There's a GoFundMe page set up to help the family with expenses, as well as a link to donate to the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society fundraising efforts. And we have both of those links up right now online at KTVB.com. Isn't that great to see that coming together for that little boy, Mark? Boy, we knew that was going to happen when Andy got the job. We knew that Football meant a lot to him, his family means a lot to him, and his community that he has come back to mm -hmm. means so much to him as well, and you can see it playing out yeah. right there.